I'm Shane here from Wayne Phyllis Automotive down at Christie's Beach in Adelaide. Just with a quick video of this GLXR Triton you've inquired on last night. I just want to give you a quick run around of the vehicle, show you exactly how nice and well maintained this vehicle has been. As you can see with the GLXR, you've got the uh, extra bit of chrome, you've got the fog lights at the front, you've got the uh, larger alloy wheels as well. This car's been fitted with Falcon All Terrain tyres, um, currently in, in a 17 inch. So you can see there, plenty of tread on the tyre and uh, all the way around to match. Indicators in the mirrors, nice chrome mirror and door handles. You've got side steps there as well. A bit of side door protection along the doors. You've got a lockable canopy, both sides lift up windows. Rear tyre there as you can see, same, plenty of tread and a very clean car all the way through. So just, as you can see, very straight down both sides no shopping center dents or anything like that whatsoever um, as we talked about last night it's it's very much been a car that's been set up to uh, to sort of get off road but really hasn't done anything um, so as you can see there it's a flexiglass canopy you've got a rear door lock All right. the center window in the back there drops down as you can see where it is and then you've got that sliding window in the back of the uh, in the back of the um, cabin that opens up to the tub, so you can get a bit of access through there as well. Good if you've got a dog in the back. Uh, it is a lined canopy with the light in the top, so a little bit quieter. It's sealed as well. So coming around, there is no tow bar fitted to the vehicle. So it hasn't done any towing, which is a great sign. Mud flaps already on the car. As you see, they're very straight down both sides. It's 126,000 Ks. Very nice and neat and tidy vehicle. Now I'll just take you inside the vehicle. Privacy glass on the back windows, so I'll just shut that door again. As you can see there, the front ones are clear. You've got a dark glass on the back. We we'll definitely suggest if it is a vehicle for you um, to put a darker tint on the front windows to match it up and maybe even a UV tint, depending on how often you have passengers uh, in the back, um, just to cut that UV uh, rolling through. So as you can see there, all the seats are completely unmarked, unworn, untorn. There's no excessive wear marks whatsoever at all. Books are there, which we can go through in a minute. And I'll just go through the interior. So to the right of the steering wheel, you've got a uh, your automatic mirrors. Um, they're a mirror fold. Stability control, traction control off button as well. Indicators on the right hand side with an automatic function. Um, wipers on the left. You've got audio controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Cruise control on the right. And Bluetooth just there underneath on the left hand side. Um, from there, you've got uh, the top screen, basically it gives you um, your altimeter um, and all your different parameters of your fuel economy. You've got climate control there as well, CD, audio, MP3, um, and Bluetooth streaming. Underneath, you've got a 12 volt plug there, and the switch uh, to the left of that plug is actually for that rear window in the back. From there, standard park reverse neutral drive. Uh, you've got Mitsubishi All-Terrain Technology, which is uh, actually quite a sophisticated system, um, but a, a very straightforward one in sense of drive. So, 2 high, 4 high, 4 low, 4 low lock. Um, and then, basically, uh, you've got your sequential shift to gear up and gear down accordingly as well. So, as you can see there, carpet is uh, is very neat and tidy. You've got all the servicing completed in the in the uh, in the book there sorry a few other books here um from new through australian motors by looks of things um so a local sa car from new um and uh, certainly sold and serviced by australian motors there um from a local uh, locally owned vehicle here in sa dual cup holders a bit of storage up underneath you got another 12 volt lighter plug in there um, and you've got an auxiliary input there too. And you've got a, sorry, it's a dual lift glove box and a little section there at the top as well. 
So I will just show you the back seat of the car. Just bear with me. Again, as you can see, very neat and tidy vehicle. Back seat, to be honest, never looks at him. Unmarked, unworn, unsawn. You've got a center drop down armrest with dual cup holders in there too. Um, and uh, a good amount of uh, leg room and comfort with a stage seat. So the rear seat is higher than the front, just to give the passengers a bit more vision um, and a bit more leg room as well. Um, five star ANCAP safety rated vehicle. Uh, so you've got driver passenger, you've got side and curtain airbags and driver's knee airbag. Look, the car really does give you a heck of a lot um, of value for money. Um, as I say, the only thing you really need, I'd imagine, would be a tow bar, uh, which we can always supply and fit for you. Uh, I can price that up, but roughly it's going to be about $690 fitted. Um, so that's for a heavy-duty tow bar um, and uh, either a 7-pin flat or a 7-pin round plug uh, on the back end. And if you need any sort of Red Arc Tow Pro or um, brake controllers or even a, uh, an Anderson plug fitted, let me know. And I can also price that up for you too, Graham. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Again, Shane from Wayne Phyllis Automotive, 127 Beach Road, Christie's Beach. Thanks, Graham.